Enough! The people, they don't have time for this. They've got a whole new season of Black Mirror to watch on Netflix. It'll take many hours. Many. That's why I'm here, to cut through the noise. Five minutes or less. In 2013, the Oregon Senate already voted that universities could invest in the stock market. The only reason that we're voting on it now is because there's some language in our constitution which makes it seem like maybe they're not allowed. That's, we're just clearing that up. Voting yes on Measure 95 means public universities can invest in the stock market, and voting no on Measure 95 means that they maybe, probably, can't, maybe. Either way, they've been doing it for three years already. Supporters keep saying that this bill could help students because it could slow down tuition increases. However, I think it's really weird because that's not the strongest benefit of this bill. The strongest benefit of this bill is that in a world where we need every revenue stream we can get in order to fund the things that we need, it makes sense for public universities to invest their own money in the stock market so they can make more money. It's just like smart financial decisions. It also means that as we're tightening our budget everywhere else, when the universities do come to the state asking for money, they'll be able to be a little bit more strategic and calculated about it. Hey. We have enough to cover half of one new building. Do you want to cover the other half? The problem with Measure 95 is the same problems we always run into when we're talking about university spending, which is why I think it's so weird that the supporters immediately jump to the fact that this money could help students, because in every situation where that applied, that money did not help students. It's not going to help students, and it never has. Tuition at Oregon Public Universities increased by about 50% between 2017 and today. Universities did a lot of stuff with that money, probably, but they never stopped increasing tuition, which is weird because it's what the students wanted all along. You know, this could help students. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, Mike, let's raise the tuition. When it comes to the actual logistics of investing, Measure 95 gets even worse because first of all, there's no policy in place making sure that our universities don't invest in things that are directly opposed to their values and purposes for existing. We should invest in fossil fuels because they're destroying our students' communities and making the future a shitty place even though we exist to make the future a better place. That is a great idea. We should also invest in private prisons, the school to prison pipeline, and then well, let's wonder why we don't have students of color at our school. Gets me really worked up. Can we just raise that tuition a little bit? Second of all, we're not even going to be able to know where those investments are because universities are historically as transparent with their investments as your douchebag's neighbor's tented windows. Number three is that universities don't spend the money that they make in revenue from investing. They just keep on investing until... I don't know. Hello? The sky is falling? Should we be using our investments now? No. Raise the tuition! All that being said, I'll be voting yes on Measure 95 this November because even though those are a lot of problems, voting no on Measure 95 isn't the way that we're going to solve those problems. As a side note, I wanted to say F you to everybody who supported this measure by saying that it could help students because you knew that you were full of it and you did it anyways. Now that you know what's up with Measure 95, make sure you click up here to the Election 2016 playlist so you can watch all the other videos I made about everything else on our Oregon ballot this year. Once you're done with that, make sure that you vote. In Oregon, you can vote by mail, you can drop off your ballot in a drop box, or you can vote in person. However you do it, though, it has to be done by 8 p.m. on November 8th, and you can find out the nearest location to you by Googling Vote Oregon, and there's a handy little toolbar made just for you. As always, thanks for watching, and if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you think of any ideas to make it even better, make sure you put it in the comments, because I'm doing this for you. And as always, make sure you subscribe and tell your ring off. Bye. What if we took our money, we invested it back into our communities? Investing in our communities. You're right, fuck them.